It's exciting that City College's Rivera Mural of Pan American Unity is moving forward, literally moving forward, to the San Francisco MoMA, that's the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, from 2020 to 2025. And then, we hope, to the new voter-supported Performing Arts and Education Center at City College along Frida Kahlo Way. Look at this rendering. Isn't this beautiful? But before looking forward, I'd like to look back, back to 2000 and 2001, when some of us instructors were working hard on integrating the mural into our curriculum. In the early 1990s, coming out of the Diego Rivera Theater, I'd seen the mural and said, ooh, that looks like something by Diego Rivera. And someone said, it is. I said, but I mean like an original. And they said, it is. I couldn't believe that City College had such an extraordinary work of art and I'd never heard about it. I was happy to see the Diego Rivera mural depicted the central panel on the 1994 schedule of classes. That was the same semester that I moved to the Ocean Campus and started teaching there using the mural in all my classes. One of the first assignments I had in 1995 was this one. What would be in a 1995 mural looking back 50 years? And part of the instructions were, imagine you're designing a mural in 1995 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the United Nations. What famous significant people would you show in 1995? Then skipping to the end of the instructions, let your mural reflect the whole world, but from the perspective of someone living in San Francisco. These are some of the students who answered that question back in 1995. When someone in the ESL department heard that I was using the Rivera mural with my classes, she told me that Masha Zakheim, a retired teacher and the daughter of muralist Bernard Zakheim, had used it with her students too. And she put me in touch with Masha Zakheim, who kindly came back to campus to talk about the mural with my students. I told my students I'd give them extra points if they interviewed Emmy Lou Packard on a mural assignment that was Rivera's assistant depicted in the mural, and they made contact, leading to my meeting her too. Thank you, students. Between us here in the picture is a photo of her working on the mural with Diego Rivera. How exciting is that? Meanwhile, a steering committee for the Diego Rivera mural was formed to make the mural known to the public. Bob Gabriner, heading the committee, stressed the importance of promoting it on campus and in classes. Then Deborah Porter, a management assistant in the art department, and the person who so often led us in the theater when I brought my students in my classes, knew that I'd been using it with my students, so she told the steering committee and we connected. I'm grateful to Deborah Porter and Bob Gabriner. All of us did a presentation on the Rivera's mural of Pan American Unity around 1998. And in 2000, we got a grant for instructional improvement using the Diego Rivera mural. And I got to head that, encouraging teachers across the curriculum to create lessons for their classes. Katerina Mijatovic got these online for us. So we got online lessons for art, English, ESL, foreign languages, graphic communications, history, interdisciplinary studies, Latin American studies, theater, transitional studies, women's studies. And then we had mural research resources for teachers and works inspired by the mural. One really exciting part of the Diego Rivera Mural Education Project was getting to meet Guadalupe Rivera Marin, Rivera's daughter, who was very gracious and later, in the summer of 2001, invited Masha Zakheim and me to her home in Cuernavaca. Here's a picture of her with us at a meeting in March 2000, 
and I think this picture may have been taken the same day. Here we are in her beautiful home in Cuernavaca, and notice all the books. Her father would be proud of her. I've always thought she was the best goodwill ambassador from Mexico. Here she is later with some of my students who were really thrilled to meet her. You can see the glow. City College also hosted Luis Martin Lozano, the Fulbright scholar who came in fall 2000. He was a curator and critic of Mexican modern and contemporary art in Mexico. And in addition to giving talks at City College, he did further research on the mural and other places. After Luis Martin Lozano left, we wanted a Spanish language presentation on the mural, which Alfredo Jordan provided in May 2001. That same semester, I gave a presentation on Rivera's mural of Pan American Unity in Monterrey, Mexico, at a conference of community colleges for international development. And Anne Danahy, now known as Dayamudra, and I gave a presentation of the mural education project at the Catisal Conference the following year, March 2002. Here's some art that her mural-related lessons inspired her students to create. And here's a low-tech anthology of my students' compositions on Frida Kahlo Steps Out and how they would bring her up to date if she were suddenly to step out of the mural and ask, what's new? They wrote about this in 1995 when we celebrated the 50th anniversary of the United Nations, and they did it again in 2000 and 2001 for the new millennium. Wouldn't it be nice if the next time Frida Kahlo steps out, they could bring her up to date on Frida Kahlo's way? I found in my 2000 collection this article on Phelan. You can see how long this name change has been in the works. At the end of my stint as director of the grant on instructional improvement with the Diego Rivera mural, I had a lot of people to thank. Look at this. I never stopped thanking them. Here's the beginning of a two-page article I wrote. It's from October 2001 from City Currents, and it begins since September 11th when I started and stopped this farewell message. There's been a lot in the news about art and what art means in difficult times. Joshua Cosman of the San Francisco Chronicle acknowledges that no one who's lost a loved one is likely to be too impressed by sentimental cliches about the redemptive power of art. And then he goes on to describe the redemptive power of art. Another theme that's been in the news since September 11th is unity, first that of the US against the rest of the world, and later the United States with the rest of the world. The acknowledgement is John Carmen says, in a global village, we must not be the village idiots but must be informed, educated, and concerned about people outside our own borders, as well as those within. All of these themes, the significance of art, unity, education, are applicable to the work we've done on the Diego Rivera Education Project and the Fund for Instructional Improvement Grant. We've taken a significant work of art, Diego Rivera's Mural of Pan American Unity, and educated ourselves and our students on it, and the myriad of themes around it. I close by saying many thanks to all of you teachers and teacher-student supporters for the success of this Diego Rivera mural education project. Let's keep at it and stay tuned for other art-related Canvas Connecting projects. So here we are, keeping at it. I look forward to seeing you at City College, at San Francisco MoMA, then at the Performing Arts and Education Center along Frida Kahlo Way.